David R. here. Today I'm going to talk to you about this book, Seeds of Greatness, The Ten Best Kept Secrets of Total Success by Dennis Waitley. Now, I got this book at a library book sale for 25 cents. I didn't know anything about the author or the book. I just knew that it would be a self-help book, but I just thought I'd try it. Uh, 25 cents, you know, you can't beat that. And it's just a paperback, so it didn't take me that long to read. So, Dennis Waitley, the author, got his idea for the book by gardening with his grandmother when he was a kid. They used to plant all kinds of seeds, you know, like uh, watermelon, squash, flowers, those kinds of things. But his grandmother told him that the seeds of greatness, seeds of greatness, you know, in people, uh, come from attitude and beliefs, not from, you know, your good looks or your race or your intellect. So, what are these ten seeds that Dennis Whaley was inspired to write about? Okay, the first is the seed of self-esteem. And with that is you have to love yourself before you can love someone else. And I'm sure you've heard that before. I certainly have. So he says that um, there are fears in life. And those fears don't exist if love is the dominant feature. Uh, For instance, he says that there are three fears, three main fears that people have. Fear of, of change, fear of rejection, and fear of success. And if a person comes from a home where people are being put down all the time, they tend to have a cynical attitude about life. So the second seed is the seed of creativity. And along with this, he says that the mind can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy that is uh, repeatedly imagined. So he goes on to say that we perform and behave in life not in accordance with reality, but our perception of reality. He also kind of rants about television and how the characters are degenerates, drug addicts, people who don't strive for much in life, they are the ones that are exposing us, adults and children, to antisocial behavior. So the seat of responsibility is next. And the third best kept secret of total success is that our rewards in life will depend on the quality and amount of the contribution we make. He mentions that Americans have a disease of immediate gratification. Now, you have to understand, this is 1983, uh, the me generation. But um, he probably started writing this book in 81 or 82, I'm assuming. It got published in 83. (laughs) But I'm thinking to myself, if things were that bad in 1983, imagine what he would say about today. You know, everything is a click away, pretty much. So, how would he explain that? Uh, The fourth uh, is the seed of wisdom. And the best kept secret of total success is to develop a large vocabulary. Uh, You know, that's okay, I guess. But how many people do you know use large words? And even if they did, would anybody understand them? I used to know a guy who constantly used words that most people couldn't understand. Um, I don't know how many friends he had or or whom, but I mean, it's kind of pointless in my opinion. He says that you could, uh, if you learn 10 words a day, 10 new words a day, you could be one of the most learned people in the world. Who has time to learn 10 new words a day, though? Uh, That's just my opinion. (laughs) Um, The fifth seed is the seed of purpose. 
And he says that's the reason that he says that the reason so many people fail is because they don't have a plan to begin with. You know, uh, he has little stories in the book, and uh, I believe one of these, this one particularly, was about his daughter wanting a dog, and she described the dog, uh, what it looked like, what breed it was. You know, that sort of thing, even the name. And, and, and it all came true. But really what he's saying is that you want to be specific in your goals. You don't want to just say, yeah, I'm going to be rich. But you want a detailed plan as to how you're going to be rich. You see yourself with the money. The sixth is the seat of communication. And a touch is worth a thousand words. He says that touch is the magic wand of intimacy. And he uses love, L-O-V-E. He, he spells it out as love being listen unconditionally. The O is overlook faults. The V is voice your approval of the person constantly. And the E is make an effort to spend time with that person. Uh, Every relationship is different, so I guess that's kind of a generalization of love. Okay, the seed of faith is the seventh, and the seventh best-kept secret to success in life is that your life is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You may not always get what you want in life, but you will get what you expect. He says that The power of faith is the promise of the realization of things hoped for and unseen. But the negative side of faith is the premonition of our deepest fears and unseen darkness. It's pretty deep. The eighth seed is the seed of adaptability. And that the good old days are here and now. I actually agree with him on this because... I think where you are right now in life is your good old days and and it's getting better in a lot of ways. Some ways, obviously, you know, it's not. But um, I don't think the good old days were in the 80s or in the 70s or in the 1800s. I think right here and now is the time that you need to make the best of. It's your good old days. And 10 years from now will still be your good old days. I I, I don't like looking back. I'm a forward-looking person myself. But um, he he does give a prediction of what the year 2020 will be like. And he says that we will be driving battery powered or liquid hydrogen engines. In cars, you know, like, uh, and he says, like, diesel trucks will be, instead of emitting pollution, they will be emitting oxygen into the air. Hmm. I don't see that happening anytime soon. The ninth seed is the seed of perseverance, and that the majority of winners out there do the work that most people don't want to do. Uh, he talks about a woman named Wilma Rudolph who was an Olympic gold medalist and how she had to wear leg braces from the age of 5 to 12. But little by little, after those leg braces were removed, she uh, strove for greatness and she got there. Uh, There was a story about Ray Kroc. He told the uh, founder of the McDonald's food chain at age 52 is when he hit his stride. So... The last seed is the seed of perspective. He says, seeing from within is not only the tenth and final secret, it is the very essence of all that I have written in this book. He says that life cannot be collected. Happiness cannot be traveled to, owned, or worn. He says, if you're looking for a treasure, you're not going to find it because the treasure is already within you. I like that. So this book contains a lot of things that are just 
common sense, I believe. But sometimes we need to be reminded, you know. And that's what this book was for me, a reminder. And it wasn't, wasn't a bad price, 25 cents. So I, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to do this again, just grab a book randomly, uh, preferably nonfiction, and, and read it like I did with this one. So that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.